Hello, uh, so th very recently, the Explosive uh, is a Chinese uh, Wi-Fi chip uh, company uh, released the ESP32 Pico D4. And this is very useful chip because it integrates everything required for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth application. Actually, uh, this is a prototyping board released by Explosive, and as you can see, there is no crystal, there is no capacitor. Of course, uh, there is a small number of capacitor, but uh, almost everything is integrated in just one chip. So this time, I made a board by myself by using the ESP Pico 32, and here is the board, and as you can see. Uh, this is a ESP32 Pico and here is a onboard FIFA antenna. At this moment, the Explosive uh, does not uh, sell the uh, ESP32 Pico chip. So at this moment, I just removed the, the chip from the prototyping board. Of course, I will repair after my getting the ESP32 Pico and uh, it is working as uh, same as the ESP32 ADV. Basically, it has its ESP32 Pico working as a Bluetooth and Wi Fi modules on board, backside nothing. And with the I2S uh, DAC DA converter and uh, CP2102, it's a binary uploading. And also, it has a very tiny OLED display. Now, let's see how it works. I'll switch on. Yeah. It says ESP32 Pico PCM5102A is the name of the attack and the Bluetooth speaker mode. It is working as a speaker mode and I connect it to the external uh, speaker. Now let's see how it works. I will connect from Macintosh or Apple's and there. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Must be funny in a rich man's world. Money, money, money. Always sunny in a rich man. Very good point is that I didn't uh, it, this chip does not require external crystal, uh, external a lot of components. Just put single chip on the board, it will work as a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable application. It's very interesting, have fun.